You could be of those that beg Allah to conceal your good deeds so that they may remain sincere. But you could also be of those who beg to Allah to hide your bad deeds so you don't become embarrassed in front of the people. And that's the topic for today's khutbah. True sincerity in acts of worship. Being secretive in our acts of worship. Being consistent in secret acts of worship. The title of the khutbah is Hallaka Sirun Allah. Do you have a secret with Allah? And it's a very beautiful saying. Do you have a secret with Allah? Because not only can you have a good secret with Allah, you could also have a bad secret with Allah. You could be of those who pray to Allah, Oh Allah, don't let people find out about this deed that is strictly between you and I. But you could be of those who say, Oh Allah, don't let people find out about this deed which I do and I transgress against your laws. You could be of those that beg Allah to conceal your good deeds so that they may remain sincere. But you could also be of those who beg to Allah to hide your bad deeds so you don't become embarrassed in front of the people. An example of a good deed which was secretive from the Sahaba is that of Umar ibn al-Khattab Talha ibn Ubaidullah, he says, One day I came out in the middle of the night, in the darkness of the night I walked out and I saw Umar ibn al-Khattab walk into a house. He walked into a house and he stayed there for some time and then left. And I became curious so I went there the next morning and I knocked. And in this house was an old blind woman. An old blind woman lived in this house. So I asked her, who was this man that came to you last night? Who was this man that came to you last night? She said, I don't know who this man is. She says, I do not know who this man is, but he comes to me every single night. And he gives me food, he provides for me, and he cleans my waist. And he's been doing this for a long time. And I want you to think about this for a moment. For Allahu A'lam how long, how many days and nights, Umar ibn al-Khattab went to her house. He does not know this woman, she does not know him. He cleaned after her, he fed her, and he provided for her. And Talha after this, he, you know, the meaning he said like, how will there be room for any of us to enter Jannah when Umar is doing things like this? Such a sincere and beautiful act. When nobody knew about it, the only reason why we know about this today is because Talha just happened to see him. Just happened to see him. Imagine if he didn't, we would never know about this. Right? An act that is secretive and consistent. That is true sincerity in worship. You know, it is easy for us to go out and pray in front of the people. But can I pray when no one is looking? It is easy for me to donate when everyone is looking. But can I donate when nobody is looking? It is easy to fast when everyone is looking. But can I fast when nobody is looking? It is easy to stay away from that which is haram when everyone is around me. But can I stay away from haram when nobody is around me? That is the true sincere abd of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, some of the Sahaba, when they would pray in the middle of the night, they would be praying in their house, praying Qiyam al reciting Qur'an, and they would hear footsteps of someone walking outside and they would stop. They would stop reciting, they would even duck. While they're praying, they would duck to make sure that the person passing by did not hear or even see them praying. Because they wanted to make sure that their action remained strictly for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I don't want anyone to know about this deed. They would duck if they found someone's walking and they would duck. There were some scholars, they would be reciting Quran and someone would walk in and they would hide the Quran. They would hide it. They don't want anyone to know that they're reciting Quran. They want to make sure they have something that is a secret between them and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They want to make sure there's something that only them and Allah know about. There, were, there was a man that used to say, he used to get up for the last third of the night and he would pray the entirety of the last third. And when Fajr came around and he would wake up his family, he would yawn and stretch in front of them. 
He would yawn and stretch in front of them so they may think he just woke up. And they wouldn't realize that he was probably praying all night. Because he wanted to make sure nobody knows about this. I want this action to be only for Allah. Only for Allah. That is true sincerity. When we try to talk, am I sincere, right? Only the sincere ones will go to Jannah. Ask yourself, are you sincere? A good way to judge if you're sincere. Can you do the same thing that you do when everyone is around you while no one is around you? You can easily do all these good deeds and stay away from all these bad deeds when everyone is around you. Can you do the same thing when no one is looking?